you this video is going to show you how to set up your page on Adobe Illustrator for your final book design. Um, what is currently on the screen is what we are after. Uh, the red line representing the bleed line and the blue lines are there for a guide for us when we're laying out our text and images. Now the first thing you're going to go to is file at the top and click new. Along the right hand side there is several options. We've been through this on previous videos. The first thing I'd like to do is label this as book, label as what pages you are doing. In this case it's going to be front and back and then your initials on there and make sure you uh, save it later into the uh, folder on your desktop. Now we need to set it up as a tabloid page. Now the tabloid page measurements I've calculated into millimeters for you. The first one which is the width needs to be 431.8 millimeters and the second one needs to be 279.4. Please ensure the orientation of this page is in landscape and there is one artboard. Now as a default you may have these set to zero. Please change them to three millimeters for each one. Okay. Please make sure as well when you set up the document page that this is set into millimeters and not into inches. A few other things you need to look out for. Make sure CMYK is selected and not RGB. As we will be printing this document, it will not be viewed on a screen. So CMYK is our print setting. And then click create. <clears throat> now you're going to get a page on here with a red line around the outside. As I said earlier, the red line represents our bleed line. This is so we don't get any white space around the outside of our book. Now we're going to set up some guides. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my rulers on along the top and I'm going to import a center line. This is going to be the place where our book is going to fold. Now when you get onto this point, if you double click on the line, it gives us some transformation settings. You're going to have to follow these closely. I've already done the calculations to where these need to be. So the first measurement we need to put in is going to be 215.9. That is also in millimeters. Click off it. That is going to be our center point. The next lines we need to do are going to be the breakdown of a 50, almost like a 10 or 15 millimeter inlay from our page. And I'll explain what they are for later on. So we'll set up our guides for those. So first of all, I'm going to double click on the zero. Click on the line. Obviously, it currently reads that. We're going to change that to 15 and click enter. We'll do the opposite side to that one. I'm going to click roughly here. It doesn't matter where you click on this one. And the measurement we are going to have to do on this one is going to be 400. And 16.8 click enter okay that's going to give us a 15 millimeter border from there these are just guides it doesn't matter if they're 100 percent accurate it's just to help us with our layout of our text and images i'm going to start with the bottom line oh sorry i start with the top line slightly easier i'm going to set this one to 15 on the y-axis this time 15 click the bottom one this one is going to be 264 so I'm going to change the y-axis on there to 264. Click. Then I'm going to start mapping out for my centers. I'm going to make these maybe 10 millimeters. We don't want any text to be lost inside of the fold line. So I'm going to make a new one on this side. This one is going to be roughly 206 on the x-axis. So I'll just change that to 206. Click. One on the other side. That is going to be 225. So change on the x-axis to 225 and click enter. And there is a rough layout of my page done. What I'm going to do along the top is go on to view, I'm going to go on to guides, and I'm going to lock my guides in place. Now if these ever become an issue in the future, and you don't want them to be on any there anymore, go on to view again, go on to guides, and you can just clear the guides away. Okay, I would suggest keeping them there as for our layout. Now the left hand portion over here is going to be one of our pages, and this part on this is going to be our second page. Now remember, when you are doing the front and back, that they need to be the opposite way around for the way the book is folded. This is going to represent our front page, and this is going to represent our back page. So now I'm going to explain why we put the guides where they are, and the purpose of this. Now, I'm going to add some text. Before I do so, I need to make sure my window is set up correctly. I'm going to have my control bar on the top. I know that some of my settings are down the side. Um, mine has a slightly different setup to yours, just for the way I use it. I'm going to insert my text. Um, I'm going to change this to say uh, front page. Obviously, even front page. And then I'm going to label this one to say back page. Okay, as you can see, I'm using some groovy uh, Star Jedi uh, text <laughs> just because it fit in with the theme of my book. Now, I've changed the size of the font to uh, 72. And you see along the side, just a, a big font for me to use. I'm going to use these as like my titles almost. Um, 
Now the guides. The guides are there because I don't want to see people putting text all the way up to the top, just in case it gets cut off. I don't want to see people putting text here in case the fold cuts it off. So that blue border on the outside is where you want to include all your text and images as best as you can to make sure it's fully visible on the on the page. Now I'm just gonna lay this out so it's in there like that, okay? Please don't put text outside of these blue borders, okay? Um, if I was then starting to do my designs for my uh, shapes and what was gonna be on here, so my characters, um, they can go outside that blue line a little bit, but just make sure there's no main details outside that page, okay? Now just the last little thing from me, um, we've already been through the details of the page and where to place them. The last little thing is actually placing things on the screen. Now I'm just going to do a quick background fill. Now notice where, I'm going to just do the front page. The front page is going to be pink. So I'm just going to squeeze this in. Make sure it goes up to my bleed line, like so. I'm going to embed that to the back. You can do it by arranging your layers as well. Now, I know it can get messy when doing design work. So let's, let's see, I've been designing a character. I've got a few circles around the outside I'm no longer using. Okay, You need to ensure that anything outside of this bleed line is removed, deleted, or moved out of the way in regards to moving onto your page because what will happen is when we come to print this, it will think this is part of your page and will try to print those. So it will shrink like this, your page, so it fits on the area that we're printing and will actually try and print those. So please make sure when you've checked at the end of your design, I know it can get messy sometimes, which is totally fine, just make sure you check at the end that you've removed any shapes around the outside and nothing goes outside that red bleed line that we put in place earlier. Same with the back page, make sure there's no shapes, no lines, even if you just do a little pen line like this on the outside, make sure that is removed, okay, later on, otherwise it will treat that as our page. So just a bit of housekeeping towards the end of the book when you're finishing off, make sure they always are removed and there's a nice clean edge around that bleed line. I would also zoom out to make sure there's nothing there and just to check that one final time.